Hello, Xavier here. Welcome back to another episode of the Modded Terraria Adventure Series. Now, here we are again with Silver. Yo. Yo, yeah, okay. So, um, it, we, we, we've spent a lot of time off camera, but we didn't, we didn't do anything too big, you know? We, we didn't do anything too big, we promise. So, uh, as you can see, we've crafted a, a, a array of items right here for us for today's episode. I have five scarab idols, and then I have two desert medallions, so we're going to be finding the desert courage today. Uh, if we beat it, we can find it twice. If we don't beat it, then, you know, we're going to fight it again and probably die again. But hey, you know, you never know. It, it, it could go well, it could go bad, but hey. Uh, but before we get started, I am in level 33. What level are you in, Silver? I'm level 32. 32. So we are in a good amount of level. I am tanky as hell, so I can take some pretty good hits. I'm not gonna lie. Um, I'm gonna should I let me let me see. I want to move one of these. Uh, grants ten. I'm gonna change this. There you go. Okay, so now, uh, yeah, I guess we'll just get started. We're gonna I'm gonna summon this beauty right there. Where's it at? Where is it? I don't know. I oh, I see it. Oh, there it's it is. Yeah. There it is. It's pretty small. Oh, wait. What? Oh, it's right there. Oh, my that God. Was we, that was fast. Yes, it was. It also was really boring. It, it was. Oh, look. There's bags right here. Okay. Here we I go. I the bags are below us. Yeah, it, it was right under you. Let, let's try to fight it a little oh, bit more to the left. Uh, that way we can get our drops on the ground, not under, not 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 underground. <laughs> not in a giant ant line. Pretty much, yeah. Uh, okay, so over here, we'll we'll fight it right here. This is a good a good place. All right, here we go again. Now we're in the middle of a sandstorm. But... I know it'll make it harder for us to beat the uh, the thing. We're. I I ripped the thing to shreds. Yeah, it's like stuck right here. There we go. Here we go again. <laughs> Just gonna beat this thing like several times that over and over again. And uh, one more time. There we go. All right. So out of those five times, I I, I didn't hit one of them. So I got four bags. <laughs> Same. I got. Uh, I only got four better. Okay, so now, oh, I got this new sword, the Foam's Lost Sword. I already have one, but you know, we ain't gonna talk about that. Let's uh, let's let's, let's fight this beauty. Oh, hello. Ooh. You know what? That was actually pretty fucking, uh, pretty freaking cool. Uh, it says, I got the, the... Except it didn't really do anything. Uh, the Great Sea Worm appears to be survived the extreme heat and has been adapted to it. When used to be a majestic beak swimming through the water, has now become a dried up and gluttonous mask, I mean husk, constantly on a voracious search for its next meal. Favorite design for an increase to defense while in the desert or in the sunken? Hell yeah! More defense for me. That's good. However, you will deal decreased damage while in these areas due to being a husk of your former self. Let's do this again. Where is it at? Damn, I can really tank some hits. Like, did you see that? My health barely went down. <laughs> yeah, but you see how little experience we're getting from this. Yeah, we are. <laughs> All right, so I, I think uh, let me. I can sell these. We don't really need these or these or these or this or this or this. I, we might need that. We don't need this. Definitely don't need a grasshopper yet. Um, I already have one of these. All right. So let me let's open these bags up and then see what we get. So I'm gonna open up the Scarabius treasure bags first. So I got a spiked pendant of warm winds. Press and hold up to reduce fall damage. Provides immunity to Demonic staff of the insect brood. <laughs> uh, Scarabus mask. 
Oh wow, <laughs> that's funny. All right, so I got a skipper's mask. I got a broken uh, Adorn's bow. Uh, I got some of these things. I don't need that though. Oh yeah, so I was fighting the slime king, right? Like I told you, like about eighty times, and I got this really rare drop. It's really cool for me. I I, I got the uh, bracelet of time twist, and what it does is so a bracelet of time twist. And what it does, it says it lowers my defense and attack by tw uh, 20 out of 20 percent, but it gives me a chance to get double loot from de de defeating mobs, basically, which is really cool. So since I can technically take hits, I, I can I can put that on and get some really cool loot. So let's see. Next is the I got the oh a taboo staff of insect blood. I can literally summon a, t a tiny little. Yeah, I, uh, yeah, I saw that. It's insect brood. Yeah. All right. So next bag. Ooh, I got the uh the long blade. Uh, kicks up wind and dust. I got the trophy. I oh nice. We can put that up. It doesn't really do a lot compared to my weapon that I have right now. I think most of these items I'm just gonna sell. Um, yeah, I'm gonna sell most of these items. Cause, do you want the the staff of oh, yeah. insect insect brood or no? No, it's just like the zombie one. Okay, cool. Uh, I'm gonna sell all these items because I technically we technically don't need most of these. I'm gonna open up the uh, the the desert scourge treasure bags though. Ooh, I got a lot of stuff in this one. These these boss battles yeah. are more re rewarding. Ooh, a demonic aquatic dis discharge. Oh wow, okay, I see what it does. I actually got an intense sea bound staff. So if you if you don't get a, a staff, let me know, I'll give you this one. Uh, this is pretty cool. Okay. I'm also wary this guy gives you a lot of like I got I got the I got the sword. Ooh, you got the, the sword aquatic discharge. I got, I got that too, yeah. Oh, here, let me just give you this while, sure. while, while I'm at it. Okay, that, that thing is kind of annoying. Uh, the Aquatic Discharge is okay. Uh, it doesn't... The, the thing about it is that it's one of those little dagger uh, things. Is this a deep in the mouth? Yeah. Compared to my yo-yo, it does a lot more. So I might keep it. Uh, the Quick Ocean Crest. Most sea enemies become friendly and provide water breathing. Okay, that, so that's going to be helpful for the, the next fight we're going to be doing, which is good. Uh, the Sandy Angling Kit, right-click to open. Ooh, I got the, uh, some really cool stuff. I got to gotta put some stuff, uh, some of this stuff away. Like, <laughs> I'm going to need so much stuff. Okay, so let's put that away, that away. And uh, the, the pendant is going to be really helpful, though. Then, it, oh, I got a storm spray. If you want it, here you go. A what? A, a storm spray. Mm. It's so that man, we're getting a lot of freaking enemies all of a sudden. <laughs> uh, let's see, Sandy. Uh, I got I already got his Jesse's courage masks. Uh, yeah, I just none of the items. That we get some pretty interesting to me. Ooh, let me see what you get. So I just have them lying over the floor. Yeah, yeah, I saw you. Yeah. So that. Budget doesn't mean that. Because of the other ones, is too cursed to wear. Vanity item. Interesting. Uh, the Ocean Crest. You don't want the Ocean Crest, bro? That might be helpful for the next battle. But then again, we kind of defeat every boss quickly, so. <laughs> Uh, did you get this? Uh, oh, you already got. You did you get an extra stuff? No, I just did the storm spray instead. Ah, okay. You don't want the staff then? I I mean, I guess I could take it. But... There you go. And then, do you want one of the ocean crests or no? Little stuff. What is it? What does it do? Uh, it, it, uh, uh, it makes most enemies 
under ocean enemies become friendly and provide water breathing. Oh, um... Do you want the quick one or the... I mean, I guess like the yeah. yeah, here's the quick one. That one does better for you. I'm gonna put this in my vanity item. Well, I can't even put it in my vanity item. I'm gonna sell the angler stuff though. Tackle box could be helpful as well. Uh, okay, cool. That that seems like a good place to continue onward. Uh, I gotta drop some of this stuff away though. Yeah. Okay, yeah, this is a pet. Um, yeah, I'm gonna. Uh, go back because I have so oh, much stuff. That was on my very, very quick. It, it was very quick. Yeah, it was definitely quick indeed. Uh, let me quick stack most of this stuff, which is really cool. Uh, so this. I want to go down to hell. <laughs> uh, we're gonna be fighting the uh, the uh, oh the giant clam next. So that's what we're gonna be doing. That way we can get the next NPC, which is the the sea king, I believe, is what he's called. Yeah. So uh, we'll get um, we'll get him next. Yes. Here we are. The giant oh, clam. Oh wow! Look, we found the giant clam already. It's on the left. Yeah. I like how it tells us where it is. On the left. Oh yeah, it's right underneath. Yeah, we're gonna have to dig down. What is up with the increased amount of spawns now? I don't know. There it is. Oh, I just realized my main weapon is kind of useless. Because it doesn't go underwater. Did I just defeat it in one hit? Yeah. I did! Oh, what? <laughs> what the heck? Where's the, where's the guy then? Hey, right there. <laughs> oh, that's cool. He shows some really cool stuff, though. Where? Right here. He's right here on, on top Where of me. Where is he? Right here. Oh, I see. Okay, I, I couldn't breathe because, like, you know. I love the music down here. It's so beautiful, bro. It's so cool. Oh, my God. Gotta kill these things, you know. <laughs> I don't know what I what kind of jobs I can get, but let me let me get see what I got the immediate pendant uh, periodically rains down prism shards that can brilliantly stun enemies. Okay, I also got some uh, navy stone. I got a prism shard. I can sell this thing. I also got this uh, storm jaw. Oh, never mind. I can't believe did I really defeat it in one hit? I can't. I don't. I I don't believe it. What? Now that I think about it, I think we did. Because like I just hit it once. I heard the I heard the little noise when you hit it, and then I just kind of it just kind of disappeared, and I got a drop. It dropped um an immediate pendant. I created a, a weapon from the Dragon Knight. Yeah. It's called the Dragon Fury. Oh, nice. It, it's just a single shot, but when it hits the ground, it, it leaves sparks flying everywhere. Oh, that's good. That's good for, like, um, crowd control as well. Yeah. It'll probably be useful for the old man's army. Yeah, that's yeah, sure. the old one's army. Okay, uh, now, I have the, now. I have the, the stuff. Let's, uh, let's summon this beauty. You spotted on top of me. Holy crap. Did you see the damage it just did? That music though. Woo! That was actually pretty good. Uh, Look at that. I did 15,000 damage. Nice. Okay, so let's see what we got. I have the Mushroom Plasma. It permanently makes Rage Mode do 15% more damage. Uh, the Lucky Fungal Clamp. Some of the Fungal Clamp to fight for you. The Clamp latches onto enemies and steals their life for you. So some material. I also got the... Uh, Shroomerang, but that's a rogue weapon, so it's not gonna be good for me. And then I got the strong 
Hyphy uh, uh, Rod, which is this. It's, it's just magic. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know what you got, but here. Oh, got, yeah, that. Here you go. Ooh, what is this? I also got a cut of mushrooms, so if you want them. Hell yeah. We could probably fight him again. Oh, yeah, we could definitely fight this guy again. So, we got some mushroom plasma apparently makes, okay, so. Ooh, cool, here you go. Use this. Just, just right click. It makes okay. more. Yeah, just right click on it. It's a permanent thing. Mushroom plant. Yeah. It just, just use it. Oh. It makes a. Uh, it makes your uh, your ra uh, your rage uh, much stronger. So if we ever use it, I got this thing. Yeah. That's a rogue weapons as well. So I'm gonna have to sell that. Uh. Same with the Shroomite. And this. Okay, so what does this do? It says, uh, a crab in it, a crab and its mushrooms, a love story. It's an interesting how a creature can adapt given certain, uh, circumstances. Fair to science to gain the mushy buff while on the ground or in the mushroom biome. However, your movement speed will be decreased while in these areas due to you being covered in fungi. The great Crustaceans, mushrooms may also grow angry when attacked, though they will also become harmless. Huh. And then, what is this? Yeah. Heart of Darkness gives the give ten percent increased damage while you have the absolute rage. But okay, ain't gonna need that. And uh, I'm not gonna need that. Okay, I'm gonna make some more of those so we can fight him like two more times, I guess. Or how many times should we fight him? Yeah, I think we can only fight him two more times anyways. I only have enough for two more. I found the rally. The rally? What is that? Oh, it's a... It's a, it's uh, a yo yo. Yo yo, yeah. Okay, so I need two more. We're right next to lava. So. Ooh. I almost went down without a, without a feather falling. Oh, I had a feather falling on. Oh my god. Okay, so let's go down with Featherfall, of course. Okay, I'm coming back down. So I don't need this or this. So that, this will be trash. Dragon Warrior. Be sold as well, and... Can we, can we mine this area it like this? like I think it does, except it does minuscule damage. <laughs> oh, my stuff is falling around. Alright, here we go, my man. Here we go again. Oh uh, yeah. I did 110% of its health. <laughs> Here we go again. How does that make sense? Nice. Okay, so... Treasure bags, let's see what we got. I got this thing here. It's like a. I got a spine shot. I only got one treasure bag. What the? Oh, I got two. Never mind. <laughs> I got the mask and the fungal thing. Okay, cool. So let's see what other bosses. Stress we pills. Ooh, you got stress pills? Those are good. Goblin army? We never fought the goblin army. Fungal clump. Uh. I don't remember fighting the goblin army. It says apparently we fought the Goblin Army. What? Uh, the Wasteland. Catch and use a... In the desert. They spawn naturally in the desert after the Ike 2 has been defeated. Oh, we gotta fight Muted Scorpion. I mean, we gotta get a Muted Scorpion. Oh, yeah. So, ooh, it's just... Uh, boost your defense by 4 and max movement speed. Uh, that's gonna be good for me, actually. Oh, apparently you're also, you also need to capture one of the scorpions for, uh, the storyteller? 
Yeah, oh, I see one, I see one. I got one. So I just gotta get one more, that way we can give it to the guy. Actually, no, he, he wants something else, so... Oh, he does? Yeah, he wants a map or something right now. Where's he at? Nice! So, wasteland the wasteland was defeated. We didn't get a single experience point. <laughs> oh man! All right, so did next... I lose connection again? No. Perhaps. No, you're still here. Let me break one. Okay. The whole group chill. Five. Ooh. <laughs> All right, so this is already a good area to fight it right here. So yeah, it's open. Okay. There's another heart. Is this the ice that'll break the BTS? Yeah. There you go. That should be able to do enough. Yeah. There you go. I should be able to break it from there. All right. Oh, I got to come back over. Nice, and then we need one more. There's one down here. And I'm just gonna throw it down there, and it should spawn after that. Nope, never mind. Throw another one. Yeah. There we go. It should spawn after this, though. There you go. Bring the Cthulhu. Creepers left. 25. Um, well, there goes all of its creepers. <laughs> yeah! Yeah, 3,000 with 390 XP. Okay, oh RP. my. Oh, we got the yeah. torn note, the second part of the torn note. That's cool. Yeah. And I uh, got the tread. Oh, we got, we got the. Holy uh, shit, dude. There we go. Yeah, I got the freaking t tissue samples. That's amazing. Ooh, I got this thing too. The yeah, Alright, let's go back home so we can sort all of this stuff. Yep. Okay, so this definitely gonna sell. I don't want we don't Ooh, the arms dealer, nice. He's finally Arms here. dealer. Finally. Uh the next people are gonna be the Alchemist, the and the operator. Uh good thing I have a lot of houses made already, so we're good on that for now. Uh so yeah. now we have the second torn note, which is interesting, because we have only one, so that's good. So I'm gonna put that right next to the second one, right there. Torn one and torn two. We need the third one, I believe. So uh, it is not well known, but the wing of the world allows you to make e ego equipment, which is unique to its own ways. If the wing of the world is placed in an empty housing, it can attract a special NPC called the operator. And if you are wondering what ego stands for, here it is. An extermination of geometric organ. There's something else, but you couldn't read it. Not without part one and three. Maybe the jeweler can help out. So we need part three as well. Okay, do you have part one? We have part one. Chest somewhere? Yeah, right here. In this chest right here. Part one and part two are right next to each other. Brenda Cthulhu. Otherworldly amulet obtained by defeating a dungeon dragon. Yeah, now I can craft some awesome stuff. Yes. Now okay, that we but we, we have the jeweler, right? Yeah, we, we, have, ha we the have the jeweler. jeweler. Yeah, we definitely do already. Okay, so now I can make some awesome, freaking amazing stuff now. Um, six, seven, and six. Oh, it really yeah. Looks like Okay, so now I can craft this beautiful armor right here. Hell yeah. Okay, so I made a new armor for me, see if. Uh, this is 70, so it is better. There we go. So I, got, I made a better Cadmus the Alchemist has arrived. Nice. Doesn't that mean we have two Alchemists now? Yeah. Well, yeah, there's two different types, right? Let's see. Oh, there he is. The he's on I guess the... once we get the third note, then we can talk to 
He is. Well, what are you transmutation into a counterpart, huh? Shop. Okay, so he sells like seeds and stuff. Oh yeah, what did I get for this? Okay, so the crimson, the bloody hell spawns from the formless mass of flesh that fell from the stars eons ago. It is only ho now home to many hideous creatures spawns. Uh, prevent pre crypts from spawning. Oh, nice. And then, uh, teleport only occurs if the item is favorite. However, you become confused. Uh, teleportation is disabled while chaos state is active. And I uh, most likely allows you to teleport similar to the rod while in the crimson, placing your hot bars to use it. Okay, well, we're not going to be in the crimson all the time, so. Yeah. I'm not going to need that, and I'm not going to need that either. But this, in the other hand, I am going to need. Uh, this right here, and here you go. Uh, also, do you want my new ar this arm, my old armor? This is should be better than the one you have on. Sure. Here you go. So, oh, yeah. So that. Oh uh, yeah, so much better. So much better. And allows weak levitation by four. You go. Okay. Yeah, that's really cool. I, I lost my ability to do that, but. It's worth my better defense. <laughs> um, let's see. So with the Shisha Balls, what did I get from the buffs though? That's actually not too terrible for me to have because I need to be yeah. running away a lot. <laughs> uh, I got a range weapon. Want about things so I be running away a lot. So that's and then there we go now. <laughs> now I can do something I've been wanting to do. Get some mm. hell. I want to get Hellstone. Oh, Hellstone, right? Yes, I need Hellstone, bro. That's, that's the best. That, that's the best armor for me, cause I'm melee. Right, right. It's uh, where's the guy that I need to talk to about? Uh, that's, oh, there he is. Why is he way over here, though? Hello, my friend. Can I buy some? Efficiency stuff from you? Thank you. There we go. So I put that there, put that there. Would you like my my better pickaxe? Here you go. It's not going to be able to get Hellstone, but it is way better. Great pickaxe. 60% uh, power. Yeah, I'm at 55 right now. I'll take it. Nice. Yes! That was army. A goblin army. Like that other guy. Hell yeah. Well, I guess we should go back, huh? At this point, we should go back. Yeah, I think it'll be fine. <laughs> if we fight it out in the middle of an empty field, it should be fine. Alright. That'll probably work really well with my, uh, hay balls somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, so this one's underground too. Yeah, so we uh, we have to find a specific thing though. Um, we we never found it, but what? Yeah. We... Okay. <laughs> you have a wormhole potion though, right? Yeah, I have a wormhole potion. So it's right. fine. Oh, uh, the goblin army is here. I'll come to you. We can do the. The other boss next time. <laughs> oh, they spawned inside. Oh, yeah, let's go away from this. Yeah, we need, we need to walk away from the house now. For the sake of our village. Oh, we are destroying these things. I'll take the ones on the right, you take the ones on the left. Also, I like how it said it's coming from the east, but we are clearly going west. <laughs> Ooh. Actually, I wonder if we should go on top of the house. Oh, that's true, we could, yeah. But they're gonna spawn inside still. The, that, bo true. that boss guy is in the bottom area. Is he, is he at the very bottom? He's like underground, I think. That's weird. He like spawns underground. No, he's above me right now. Oh, is he? Yeah, the necromancer. 
Okay, yeah, I can see him now. And he's dead. Nice. <laughs> we, we've mm -hmm. done quite a lot, which is good. Uh, I think next episode we can fight the Beholder, if we can find them. Yeah. Uh, the Vine's, Vine Red Bane definitely gonna take that down. And the Old Man's Army as well. Um, I guess the Dark Mage is from the... Uh, there's also the Quinn B, Ancient Avian. Use a the sky bomb at any time. Alternatively small. Smash a giant oh, smash a giant avian egg which found on avian Okay, so that's what that is. Oh It's a boss. That's... Okay, so yeah, I think with next next video we can fight the uh the Vinewrath Bane and the Ancient Avian. Mm -hmm. That's going to be awesome. And then we can also take down Queen Bee and Skeletron. So that, that's, yeah. a, that's a good one there. Uh, Yeah, I, I think we... Ooh, with the Slime God, that's, that's another one we can do. I like this one, go ahead. So yeah, I, I, we got like, a lot of bosses we can fight. Uh, meanwhile, I guess in the background, I'll, I'll go and get some, you know, health zones for myself, because, like, that's good for melee. melee. Mm -hmm. So, that'll be fantastic. So, guys, thank you guys for watching today's video of the Terraria modded adventure with me and Silver. It was a very interesting episode. We fought a lot of bosses. <laughs> yeah. And then, uh... We, uh, I upgraded some of my uh, stuff, which is cool, and, and so did he. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys next time. See ya.